Hi everyone, this is Meg from Saving on the Essentials. I was going to show you a little bit about my coupon binder today. We had been talking on Facebook about organizing coupons and um, a few people had asked you know, how I do my categories and stuff, so I thought I'd show you real quick. My actual holder my mother gave to me, she was getting rid of it, so I took it and I thought, what am I going to do with this? And I'd really outgrown my other coupon binder system, so I decided to try this. And I really like this because I put my scissors in this little thing, so if I need to cut anything while I'm shopping, I can do that. And in this little outside folder, I keep my All You magazines and stuff. I keep two issues in there, and then I have some home organizing things that I have in there with coupons. It has, and this is what I really love about it, it has a built-in calculator, so if I need to do some quick calculations in the stores, and I have a place for pens, and all of my cards are here, my CVS and Kroger and Rite Aid. And then I have my business cards um, to hand out to people. I keep all my store flyers down in here. That way they're easy to access, and I know where they are. I don't go to the store, and I don't forget them. And um, up front, I have three little holders. I usually keep, I have an envelope that I keep coupons that are about to expire in. That way I don't have to spend time. Uh, filing them and then it's going back a week later and taking them out. These are all my free coupons. I keep those up front to make sure that I don't forget to use them because that would be a real bummer. Um, and then there's some other ones that I'm probably not going to use but just in case I find a good deal. And then I have all my restaurant coupons back here uh, for when we go out to eat and when we do stuff like that. Uh, for my travel coupons I used to clip them and file them but I was printing some that I wasn't sure if I was going to use or not, but printing them while they were available so I would make sure to get them. But what I started doing is I just three-hole punched them and put them in my binder. And this is another tip. To save money on paper, I print one coupon on one side, and then when I push the back button to print again, all I do is clip my paper over and then print on the other side. That way I have two coupons on one piece of paper and I'm not using two pieces of paper to print just one coupon up here and then I have all this other space. So that's a little tip to save money on your paper because it does get expensive printing coupons, if you're, especially if you're not using them. So I have all those and I've printed them. I just three-hole punch them. If I'm in the store, I just go through them real quick and I'll cut them since I have my scissors. And my first category is the dairy and produce and refrigerated section. I bought these coupon holders from the Coupon Clutch and I really, really like them. They have some, this is a, it holds nine, has nine slots. As you can see, I've um, folded some and put two in one when they're the same coupon. Um, and this is a six holder one. It holds the long ones which is really great for the printable coupons because they're so long you don't really want to bend them. Sometimes they have enough trouble reading them as it is. And then I have drinks, snacks, and desserts. I just finished organizing everything so it doesn't usually look this nice, I'll be honest. Um, next I have deli, meats, and frozen foods. And then I have canned goods, condiments, and spices. Cereals, boxed foods, and pasta, personal beauty and pharmacy, household paper goods and cleaning supplies go together, and then there's a miscellaneous. In the back, I guess I forgot to, uh, to uh, follow those coupons. I'll have to do that in a minute. In the back, I added my own tabs. These didn't come with the kit that I ordered, but these are the short stores that I shop at the most. The five I shop at Walgreens, Kroger, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. And I just made little tabs for them. I keep the Walgreens book back here and I carry a copy of the coupon policy with me. The manager that just took over is not very coupon friendly so I make sure to always have my coupon policy when I shop at Walgreens. Um, I have my register rewards and a rain check and then a Catalina that printed. For Kroger I have all my store coupons that you can only use at Kroger that you get from their Kroger home miller. CVS, I have my extra care books and an offer that printed out from the kiosk machine. And then I have a rain check, which I haven't used in a long time. I probably won't. I'm a little behind on Rite Aid. I don't shop there too often, but I've got the September. I, I keep the month's rebate directory in here. And then I kept this weekly ad because I went one time and they told me they could not reduce the coupon 
Well, here it shows that they could on the game. It was 89 cents on sale, and then there was a dollar coupon, and it was free. So I kept that, and then I have a copy of their coupon policy, too. So I make sure to keep coupon policies at stores where I have problems. <laughs> and then in the back, I have coupons, the Rite Aid coupons, and just stuff to use. For Target, I also have my Target gift card and the Target coupon policy because they really aren't all up to date. Some of them do some things and some of them do others. And then I just have and the coupons that I've cut out for Target. I've stopped cutting those because I don't usually use half of them. I just use the good ones. So that is my coupon binder. Um, and I'll write down the categories for you so you know them. But everything that came in the kit, I paid $30. And... Um, and I got these three holders, and I got all of the tabs. Let's see, there's there's eight tabs, and then I got, I think, 60 pages of coupon inserts to use. So it was a pretty good deal, and I really like it. It's a little bulky carry, um, but, you know, it works, and it saves me a lot of money. So happy shopping.